what all are the local complications of acute pancreatitis i have already told you that acute pancreatitis can lead to variety of local complications okay and variety of other extra pancreatic complications also here we are talking about the local complications that is problems which are occurring within the pancreas or adjacent to the pancreas okay so these problems can be divided into two categories based on whether based on the time duration you can say okay now these local complications can be acute or chronic okay if the duration is less than 4 weeks then it is acute if it is more than 4 weeks then it is chronic okay and generally the acute complication is not lined by well defined ball okay so there is no lining whereas in chronic there is a well defined wall which is present defined wall is present okay now the acute complications can be acute pancreatic fluid collection or acute necrotic collection okay suppose if there if this is a pancreas and necrosis occurs in this much portion and if there is a collection here which is containing necrotic material in the peripancreatic area or in the pancreatic area so that is acute necrotic collection if it is lined by uh some wall that is generally occurring in the chronic uh, problem then this acute necrotic collection will become worn or walled off necrosis okay there is a wall which is uh encapsulating or which is uh, recovering this collection necrotic collection walled off necrosis on the other hand if there is no necrosis suppose there is only fluid here if there is only fluid so then that is acute pancreatic fluid collection and if this fluid is lined by a covering then it will become a pseudo cyst later on okay so the point is if there is a covering this is either pseudo cyst or a worn okay if there is a chronic problem more than a month has already happened for pancreatitis it will be either a pseudo cyst or a worn if suppose they will give you a question i will give you a question patient with acute pancreatitis developed uh, this acute pancreatitis was 2 weeks back developed peripancreatic collection okay this will be apfc anc pseudocyst or worn okay so the correct answer is apfc to this question this is acute pancreatic fluid collection this is not a pseudo cyst suppose if it develops pen peripancreatic collection with necrotic collection if there is some amount of necrosis is there even small amount of necrosis is there it will become anc acute necrotic collection after 4 weeks it will be lined by a chronic granulation tissue and it will be a pseudo cyst in case if there is some necrosis it will be a worn or a walled off necrosis acute pancreatic fluid collection majority resolves on its own and some which does not resolve will give rise to pseudo cyst similarly acute necrotic collection majority will resolve on its own those who are not resolving will give rise to development of a worn or a walled off necrosis 
suppose what is the most common problem with these collections there can be possibility of infection okay so there are two terms that is uh, pancreatic abscess okay so this pancreatic abscess is basically infection of the collection okay and this infection is generally occurs most commonly because of e coli and then what is the treatment the treatment of choice is usg or ct guided drainage okay patient will present with fever and there will be increased pain and raised wbc count will get a ct done there will be uh, you can say gas in the necrosis suppose there is a pancreatic necrosis and normally in ct there will be no gas if there is infection if infection is present there will be gas in the collection this infection generally occurs because of e coli most common cause is e coli and in fact the most common complication of pancreatic necrosis is infection okay now there was pancreatic necrosis now there is infection in the pancreatic necrosis patient is having fever now you have got a ct done and there is gas inside the collection so you are sure that there is some infection both clinically as well as radiologically now you will aspirate that collection and you will send it for culture there will be growth of the organism and what is the treatment treatment is same usg guided or ct guided drainage okay or you can say the actual treatment is basically a step up approach in which initially what we'll do we'll do either ultrasound guided or ct guided pcd placement and uh, if there is no response we'll go for ward initially pcd placement that is drainage ultrasound or ct guided if no response we'll go for ward that is laparoscopically visual assisted retroperitoneal debridement okay we'll debride whole of the necrotic tissue necrosectomy is done by ward and we'll remove all of the necrosis from the retroperitoneum and if there is no response we'll go for necrosectomy so directly going for necrosectomy or removal of the necrosum dead material is not done because there are lot of complications lot of bleeding complications or uh, pancreatic fistula formation that is why always go for first ultrasound guided ct guided drainage if patient is not responding go for ward if patient is not responding then go for surgery or necrosectomy and that is why it is known as step up approach because gradually we are increasing the extent of the procedure okay so this is regarding the local complications of the acute pancreatitis